you can draw this in Procreate. You can draw this in Procreate and you don't need any experience because I have developed these you can draw this videos especially for people who don't have any drawing experience or experience with Procreate. So as long as you follow this tutorial all the way till the end, you can create this. I will guide you through every step and we'll be using the brushes that are already in the app plus an extra brush that you can download for free through the link in the description. Don't forget to share your work on Instagram and tag me in the image, not just in the description, and I will be able to find your work and maybe we'll see it in the next You Can Draw This video. And if you are enjoying these You Can Draw This videos, then don't forget, if you want to support this channel, then you can just leave a thumbs up, a comment, or subscribe to this channel, of course, and hit that bell notification button so you won't be missing the next video. And if you have already watched all of the videos, then you might want to check out my Patreon page where I share a lot more video content, lots of video tutorials ranging from beginner level to more advanced levels. But for now, let's not delay and draw this cute black cat. I have created a color palette for you, which you can download also through the link in the description. It's totally free and that way you can use the exact same colors I'm using during this tutorial. Do be sure to set your canvas to the color profile sRGB IEC long code, which I always forget. The canvas is 2500 pixels by 2500 pixels and now we are ready to go. Grab your pencil or your finger or whatever you're using to draw and let's get started. First of all, let's pick a brush. We will be using the dry ink brush, which you can find under inking. And let's go pick a color from our color palette. We'll be using this first color in the second row, or is it a line? In any case, this first color over here. The opacity of the brush is at 100%, and for the size, let's go to around 23%. Doesn't really matter, you can do whatever you please. And first thing we'll create is the cat's head. So let's draw an oval. Make it pretty big, hold your pen in place so it'll snap to a quick shape. And you can use edit shape and move it around a bit. We need some space for the ears and we don't want it to be too big because we also need some space for its body. And you can use these handles to turn it a bit We can let that underside of that head be a little bit below halfway of our canvas. I think this is looking good. Let's also give it these ears, just two pointy ears, and one over here, just a triangle shape. And don't worry, you don't have to get it right right away, you can always fix things make things a little bit bigger or smaller, don't worry. Now let's move to the body. Now let's move to the body. We'll start about here. That's where the neck will be. And we'll go down a little bit to the left. And here we'll have a little paw. And next to it will be another paw. Like that. It's a bit like a sausage shape. Then we'll go down on this side, that's the other side of the neck. And we'll go a bit to the right. And we'll draw. It's, it's behind here. And we'll go here and make another paw. And here we'll make, well like its belly, we'll connect these two parts. And now let's create a tail. Start about here and make, we'll make like an S shape a little bit, like a curve going up and then back following that same shape. Now it's a little bit too far to the right, I think. So we can just go to the arrow tool here, to the move tool and move it a little bit to the center. And then you can click the arrow again to get out of here. Now we'll need to fill this shape. We want to make it entirely black, or at least it's almost black. 
will drag in the color, but at the same time, when you drag it in, hold your pen, and then you can move to the left and to the right. And we want to fill that, like that edge, we want to fill it almost entirely like that. So we don't have a lot of white there. So you can drag it in and move to the right, just so it's not entirely spilled like this, just a little bit on the left side of that. And of course you can go over these edges with your pen to tidy it up a little bit. So let's just fill these shapes and make sure to adjust the threshold if it's needed. And then we'll just clean up these edges so we won't be seeing these white little specks. We'll go over the tail a bit and over this edge, over those paws. And at the same time, you can adjust the shape a little bit. Just make sure that we don't have a lot of white little dots. And now we have the basic silhouette of our cat. The next thing we'll do is give it two pretty eyes. We'll do that on a new layer. So go to the layer menu to these two little squares and click the plus for a new layer. We'll also pick another brush. We will go to the calligraphy brushes and use the monoline brush. And for the color, we will pick this yellow over here. And now let's create an oval for an eye. Just draw an oval and hold your pen in place till it's snapped to a quick shape. And then you can use edit shape here at the top to change it a bit and move it around. Just be sure that you have enough space for the second eye on the right side. So don't go like this, that would be kind of weird. It would be a cyclops cat and you don't have any room for that other eye. So make sure that you leave enough space for that second eye. I think this is looking good. Let's drop in the color by dragging it in. And now we'll create a new layer by going to the layer menu and clicking the plus. And now let's set this layer to layer clipping mask. So it will be clipped to that yellow layer. And whatever we paint on here will only show up on this oval, on this yellow oval. For the color, we will pick this one over here, that third color in the bottom row. And we'll still be using the monoline brush. By the way, the size of my brush is 35%, but in this case, it doesn't really matter. You, you just need that oval shape. And now we are going to make that cat pupil. We'll start it at the bottom and make a curved shape up. And another one on this side also curved. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect or good right away. You can always fix it. Let's just drag in the color and you can go over it a little bit. You can either use the brush to make it bigger or you can use your eraser to remove parts. I think this looks nice. Now we are going to add some color variation to that yellow of the eye. So we'll go back to that layer with the yellow, that oval. We'll click that layer and use alpha lock. Now we can paint on this yellow oval without going over the outside, without painting outside of that shape. For the brush, we will go to spray paints and use the medium nozzle. And for the color, we will pick this orange right here, that second color. The opacity of the brush is set to 40%. And the size of the brush is set to 7%, but you can play around with that. Let's go over that top part of the eye and darken that up a little bit. We'll go over the outside here as well, but we'll make that top part a little bit darker than the lower side. So 
So just gently go over that edge, giving some nice color variation to that yellow of the eye. And next we will add a highlight to our eye. We'll do that on a new layer on top of the pupil. So first click the pupil layer, then click the plus, and let's use clipping mask again. So we'll click the layer and then click clipping mask. And for our brush, we, we will go back to the calligraphy brushes and use the monoline brush. For the color, we will use this very light blue. And now we are going to create another oval. So let's draw an oval, hold your pen in place, and use edit shape here at the top to adjust it a little bit. I want it to almost touch that left side of that pupil and almost touch that edge of the eye. And it will, will be about half the size of the entire eye. Now let's fill it by dragging in the color. And now we are going to add a layer mask to this layer. We'll click that layer and then click mask. And now on this layer mask, we can mask parts of this light blue oval. We'll go to the brushes, we'll go to airbrushing and use the soft brush. When you set your color to black, you can use it to block parts on that layer mask. If you need to select black, you can just double tap here at the bottom to select pure black. The opacity of this brush is set to 40%. And the size is at 9%. And I will just glaze over the bottom part of this light blue oval and lighten that lower part. Well, not lighten, we'll block that lower part of that highlight until it's almost faded there. That's looking good, but I want an extra twinkle in that eye. So we'll go to the layer menu and click the plus again for another layer. Again, you can use layer clipping mask to clip it to that orange oval over here. For the brushes, we'll go to the luminance brushes right here and use the flare brush. We'll stick with that light blue color. The opacity of the brush is at 100% and the size is at 20%. Now let's just click to get a nice highlight. And then we'll go to the move tool. That's the arrow up here and we can move it around. You can use this green handle to turn it and we can make it a bit smaller. And let's place it just almost on that edge of that pupil. I think this is a nice place. And now if we click the arrow again, you can get out of that menu, not just just one more highlight. We can add that by going to the airbrushing brushes and use the medium brush and that light blue color. The opacity is at 100% and the size is at 3%. Let's add a little highlight right here on that edge of the pupil for an extra little touch. Now we'll want to duplicate this eye and move it to the right. So we'll have two eyes. Two eyes for the work of one. We'll do that by grouping these layers. So you can drag to the right to select them all and then select group. If you don't want too many layers in your artwork and if you're happy with the way your eye looks and you know it, then you can just squeeze these together and just merge them to one layer and then duplicate it. That will reduce the amount of layers you'll get in your final artwork. But for me, I'll just keep it in a group and I'll duplicate the group instead of the merged layers. So you can drag to the left and click duplicate. Now we have another eye, a duplicate eye with all the layers. Now we can move this group by clicking the arrow and then just dragging it to the right. And I'll place it about here. And we can click the arrow to get out of that menu. Of course, our little cat needs some extras. He needs a little nose and mouth and perhaps some extras to these ears. 
So let's go and add an extra layer. Let's click the plus and we'll go back to that inking brush, that dry ink brush, and we'll use it to add some extras. First, we'll go to this color. It's a grayish pinkish color. And we'll use that for the ears, for those insides of the ears. Let's just create a little triangle there. And you can just fill it in by hand. Just color it. And one over here. A triangle, a smaller triangle in the same shape as the ear already is. And now for its nose, we will pick another color. We'll pick this gray over here and we'll make the brush a bit smaller. Let's go for around 8%. And let's create a little triangle for its nose. And again, we can fill it in by hand, just color it in. And let's also give it a little cute mouth by making these semicircles, these curves, giving it a slight smile. I also want to give it some teeth. Let's use this light gray for that. Now let's add two small little teeth. One on both sides. Just some small triangles. And we can also add a little bit of a highlight to its nose. Let's pick that light blue for that, that we also used for the eyes. And let's add a little bit of a line here to indicate a little highlight on its nose. Now I also want to add some little details to its paws. Let's pick another color. Let's pick this fourth color here at the top. And let's give it little like nails, for instance. Let's go over this area and make three lines for its paws. And on this paw as well. And we'll create a line for its hind paw, its hind leg. We'll start here where it's touching the belly. We'll go to the right and then we'll curve up, making like a semicircle there. Now it's time to work on the background. Let's go to the layer menu and click background color. And for the background color, we'll pick this very dark color over here. And now we will create a new layer on top of the background. So first we'll click the plus in the layer menu and then drag this layer all the way down until it's on top of the background color. For our color, we will pick this very bright greenish bluish color. And for our brush, we will go to airbrushing brushes and use the soft brush. The brush is still set to 40% opacity, but let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's go to 20% and let's add a backlight for our cat. I'm making circular motions just behind the cat to make it stand out against the background. I'll go down a bit here, also behind the tail. And I'm not lifting my pen as I made this first shape behind the cat, because when I lift my pencil and then start painting again, that stroke will become more opaque, so it will get brighter blue. And I want to gradually build it up. So this was just one stroke, and I'll start with my second stroke. Slowly building that bright bluish greenish up. And I want it to be the brightest just behind its neck. So I'll make multiple strokes there. And if you want to soften it up just a little bit, you can go to the magic wand, use Gaussian blur set it to layer 
and then slide to the right just slightly going for 1.7 percent really just a slight blur now we have some blue that has leaked just underneath the cat but we don't want that we want there to be a shadow right where it's sitting so let's create a new layer on top of this bluish greenish layer let's click the plus and here we'll make a dark shadow for our cat let's pick this color over here and for our brush let's pick the medium brush and let's just go underneath our cat making a drop shadow there by painting this oval and this looks kind of harsh so we can go to the magic wand use gaussian blur and set it to layer again and let's slide to the right till we are at like 11.6 percent now let's shine some light on our cat we'll go to the layer menu click the cat layer and then add a layer on top by clicking the plus we'll clip this layer to the cat's body by clicking the layer and then selecting clipping mask so whatever we paint on here will only show up on our cat for our brush i will be using an illustration brush it's the spackle it brush i have put a link in the description so you can download it for free for the color we are going to use this third color in the top row and opacity of the brush we will set that to 90 percent and for the size we'll go to around 20 percent and now let's go over the edges of our cat adding highlight to that cheek to that ear here at the top and a little bit at the top of its head adding texture at the same time so we'll just go over the edges and we also want to go over that that chin area but we don't want it to blend with the body now a way we can do that is by using a selection i'm turning my cat sideways so it's easier to make a selection we'll go to the s shape ribbon and use the free hand selection option and now let's make a selection that goes smoothly underneath that chin we can just start here and make a smooth line underneath the cat's chin and then we'll close it here and now we can paint here without the paint showing up on the body let's do that let's click the brush and let's go over the chin area giving a nice light to that chin And then we can turn off the selection by clicking the S shaped ribbon again. And now we have a nice, a nice line between that chin area and the body. And we can continue adding highlights to the cat's body. Let's go over the side here. And we also want to separate these two legs and we can use the same technique as we did with the chin. We can just use the free hand selection and select that paw let's go up like this go around and then close that selection and then when we go to the brush we can just paint over that leg and I won't go all the way up just to about two-thirds of its body adding that highlight there and then you can click the S shaped ribbon to get out of there now let's do the same for that hind paw, that hind leg. Again, we'll use the free hand selection. Select that paw. And then go to the brush to add a little bit of light to the top part here. And here just over that edge. And then you can click the S shape ribbon again to get out of there. And now let's add a little bit of light to its tail adding some final touches here 
just go over that edge. Perhaps a little bit on its back here. Now let's also add a little bit of texture to those insides of its ear. We'll have to go to another layer to do that. We can go to this layer which has the insides of the ear and the nose. And let's just paint straight on top of this layer. We can click the layer and use alpha lock so we won't be painting outside of these shapes. For the color we will pick this dark reddish brownish color. Now let's add some shadow to these insides of the ear. We'll just go over the edges of the top here, darkening that up a little bit. You can make multiple strokes, slowly building that up. And let's do the same on this side. So we'll just go over this edge and this one. Next, let's add some whiskers. We can put those on a new layer or we can just work on this layer which already has the nose, the mouth and those insides of the ears on it. But you do have to make sure that you turn off alpha lock, otherwise you can't add any extra elements. So let's click the layer and click alpha lock to turn it off. For our brush, we will go back to the inking brushes and use the dry ink again. And for the color, let's pick this third color over here. And let's create some rough looking whiskers. We'll make some wonky lines. You can barely see it. Uh, there it is. And let's add three whiskers on each side, making them look a bit rough and weird. Because this is a rough cat. It's like a Halloween cat. Perhaps he's living with a witch. Who knows? Maybe he has a rough life. So he has rough looking whiskers. All right, he has nice looking whiskers now. It's time for a final touch. I would like to add a layer on top of the background layers right here. Let's click layer 16 and then click the plus to make a layer that's behind our cat. And on this layer, I would like to add some light effects. We'll use a different brush. We will go to the luminance brushes again and use the light pen. And for the color, we will use this bright greenish bluish color that we also use for that glow. The brush opacity is set to 100% and the size is at 40%. First we'll add some dots, it's like little star shapes. It's like some magic going on behind that cat. Because like I said, perhaps he's living with a witch. And let's just place them in some random areas, random spots. Make some a bit smaller and some a bit bigger. You can use more pressure to create the bigger the looking um, like dust magic particles. So just click in some random spots. And don't forget while you're at it, if you are enjoying this tutorial, then you can support the channel by giving a thumbs up or leaving a comment subscribing to the channel, or if you want more tutorials, then do be sure to check out my Patreon page. And finally, I would like to add some wisps. I'll zoom in a little bit. I'll start here and make a curvy line up and I'll create something like a flame shape, filling that center. And I'll add three little wisps. So I'll have like a circle at the bottom and then make these lines going up like little flames. 
And I want another one over here. Okay, going up with a curve. Then the other side. Then I'll fill the circle here at the bottom and add some more flame-like shapes. Well, I think it looks super cute. So there you have it, a cute black cat. I hope you have enjoyed following this tutorial. I'm looking forward to seeing your results. Don't forget to share them on Instagram and tag me in the image, not just in the description, so I will be able to find your work. If you have enjoyed following this You Can Draw This video, then be sure to check out the other You Can Draw This videos as well, or just start with these two videos over here. I will see you next time.